This is probably one of the sickest car that we finally got in a car dealership tycoon, guys. I was really, really wanting a hyper car, and Foxy did just that. And today, guys, I'm going to be going over the brand new Koenigsegg Agera 1 of 1, guys. One of the lightest and fastest vehicle in the world. And today, we're going to go ahead and upgrade it as well. But before we get started with that, guys, be sure to smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you guys haven't, and don't forget to click that post notification bell and also comment down below have you guys gotten your koenigsegg one of one now let's get this video started all right let's go over the stats here real quick guys you can see that the top speed of this is an incredible 272 miles an hour with a handling of a 9.1 crazy part about this guys it is a real wheel drive and it is 19.5 million dollars which is absolutely insane guys and you guys can see that this is not upgraded just yet this is just the stock on this car guys and it already goes 272 i think this car is going to hit probably 300 miles an hour as soon as we upgrade it guys and i can't wait to see the difference in that all right let's go ahead and go to the drag race real quick guys and i want to see what the timing is on this half a mile race i'm not gonna do a one fourth because i feel like it's too short of a race but you guys can see that my screen just froze what the heck my game just died on me <laughs> all right let's try that again you guys can see that this koenigsegg is absolutely destroying this track look at that 11.46 seconds and this is a stock car guys and i love this wing in the back and it's actually an a active arrow wing guys you can see i thought it was a fixed one but it actually goes up which is absolutely cool and you guys can see that the aggressive canards on this and the front spoiler or the splitter guys is absolutely crazy along with the wing right here if you guys look at the agero rs it is as aggressive as this one but it doesn't have that super long wing in the the back and it doesn't have the big canards as well it has pretty cool canards but doesn't have the cool ones like the uno has so you guys have to remember it was 11.5 or 11.7 for the drag race when it's stock now we're gonna go to the circuit race and see what the best lap we can get guys and probably try to beat that as soon as we upgrade it so let's go ahead and see what our best lap time is let's go ahead and color this car too guys i want to change up the color a little bit Let's make it a little bit brighter. Look at that. That looks a lot nicer. And you guys can do a secondary color on it as well. Let's do this color right here. And now, oh gosh, we just crashed on our brand new Koenigsegg. But you know what? This is the test lap right over here. And I got to say, the handling on this is absolutely insane. It is really, really good for a real wheel drive. And you can see that the acceleration on it is pretty good. But it's probably not the best as you would think on a hypercar. And it feels so heavy, guys. Look at this. But the first person mode on this is actually really, really nice. You can see almost everything in here. And the carbon fiber is insane inside this car it's nothing but carbon fiber i wish we could take off the roof like the other koenigseggs guys but we can't but you can see now we're on the second lap and i'm trying to get my best over here so i can see what time we get so let's go ahead and focus here and let's see what is our best lap time all right here we go guys we're coming to the finish line i'm gonna be honest it does feel a little bit heavy but at the same time it has a really good handling look at that 35.6 seconds and we're not even fully upgraded guys that is crazy now let's go ahead and add some upgrades and this is gonna be super expensive guys just because you know it is a 19.5 million dollar car so let's go ahead and start with the upgrades let's go ahead with a 2.5 million dollar race engine guys and this one is literally insane it's gonna give us 18 miles an hour upgrade and a seven percent acceleration and then the turbo guys is gonna cost us 1.5 million dollars we already have the race tires right over here but now we got a top speed of 290 miles an hour but let's see what time we get with the brand new engines and turbos guys here we go we are speeding away now and boom 10.61 seconds guys that is crazy this is better than the the last timing guys oh look at that little kick back there but we got a second faster this time guys 
which makes a huge difference. Now let's go ahead and go to the track and let's see if we can beat our 35 second best lap time. I think what's cool about this car, guys, is the fact that you can probably drift with this. I want to take this to the ice race one day, guys, and see if this can actually do a pretty good job. I've seen Koenigsegg's literally drift before and is insane. All right, here we go, guys. I am absolutely excited to see what kind of power this actually gives us, guys. Look, you can see that we are already going great on the very first lap and we're literally having smoke come out on the back tires just because of those brand new turbos we're literally accelerating so much faster than we were before and you can see the handling is nice on that one. Ooh, that was a nice snake right there guys i gotta say that this agero rs is absolutely amazing i'm not sure if it's better than the bleed but it is absolutely up there with it guys it actually has a pretty good handling the 9.1 does make a big difference on this car oh here we go again pretty good entry right there nice here we go let's see if we can get a better lap on this one guys i'm trying not to mess up as much as possible but we are doing absolutely amazing our time's already better right now and we didn't even crash once guys that's how much control this car has here we go we're finishing up right here and boom let's go 33.2 guys oh my goodness i don't think i've done any good with the racetrack with any car with unless it was the koenigsegg guys this is probably the best car i've driven in the track so far i don't think i've done times like that with the bleed and this car right here is worth every penny 19.5 million dollars guys this is the koenigsegg agera one of one super aggressive super nice totally worth it and i gotta say that i have to do a bleed versus koenigsegg video guys i do have this fully upgraded koenigsegg agera rs right here guys i do want to bring on this track to see if it does a little bit better because this one is almost like the same exact as the one of one but the one of one is supposed to be lighter than this one so i want to see if this one can actually beat the lap time of the one of one i'm gonna be honest this one does feel a little bit heavier than the one of one and my game froze again what the heck all right getting back to it before roblox booted me out from my taco bell internet the koenigsegg agar rs guys does have a pretty pretty good handling but like i said it does seem a little bit heavier than the one of one this is a fully upgraded koenigsegg agero guys so it is a pretty fair race and i will be doing a comparison between these two in another video but you guys saw right now that the stats are almost kind of alike so this one is going to be a pretty close race here we go we're coming up to the finish line and boom you guys can see 34.6 seconds that's actually right there with the koenigsegg 101 guys it is pretty close which i'll have to do a video guys this is actually an interesting one to do so you guys can see this one can go up to uh 290 and then the koenigsegg rs is 295 this one has a 9.1 and then the other koenigsegg Agero rs is also a 9.1 so there is a big difference between them guys it's just going to be in the race the stats are kind of the same so we will have to see in another video thank you so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did be sure to smash that thumbs up button subscribe if you guys haven't and don't forget to click that post notification bell and i will see you guys in the next video and peace out